Have you ever ridden on one of those giant drop rides? Have you ever wondered what makes them stop? Well, that might hurt a bit. Now, using this induction tube, we can investigate some of the braking systems that might be used on these types of rides. Now, what I'm doing here is moving the magnet down to the bottom of the tube. Now, let's try our little experiment again. What do you think will happen this time? Well, that seems to be an improvement. Now you can also try the magnet at different heights. I'll leave you to investigate that a little more. Well, that's all very well, but what about having some people on board? Now what we can do is to add some mass. I have some 50 gram masses here that I'm just sticking onto the cylinder with a little bit of blue tack. Now we've got a full load. I'll leave you to investigate that yourself. Now you might also want to try a few other things, like using the three little rings to see how they behave. And I'm sure you've got a stack more other ideas that you'd like to try as well. Now, why do you think amusement park rides use these sorts of braking systems? I'll leave you to research this. I think you should look at also the advantages and the disadvantages of using these sorts of systems. Now, I wonder what would happen if you were halfway down the ride and the power went off. Hey, hey, can someone turn the lights back on?